Yeah, well, families from Texas, Indiana, California are relocating to the Triangle specifically to live in this sustainable community. Today, we did get an exclusive tour of the inaugural home that is going up in what's considered North Carolina's first net zero development. This is the kitchen, dining, living area. The ceiling soared two stories in the Williams's new home, and natural light streams through the space in seemingly every direction. The couple wants to be near great health care, and they also have a desire to be self sufficient in how they're living. Energy costs are a major concern. With all the issues that are going on in the climate uh, today, uh, we wanted to do our part. Homes in the new array community are being built to generate enough energy to run the entire household. It's being accomplished with Energy Star appliances, solar power, and advanced framing techniques, to name a few things. Your own kind of mini power plant as a way to generate electricity. The developers have been working years on this eco friendly project. It is not rocket science. There are builders doing it all across the country. They're not here as much as they are in other places, and we wanted to show that it can be done. These homes will be placed on the power grid as a backup and if they produce more energy than needed the power company will buy it back it takes a village if you will to get all of that that solar onto the grid and adding all of those solar resources to the grid helps to expand clean energy across the state reduce carbon that we're using the Williamses will be moving into their net zero home in November we'll have an electric fireplace which you see the opening there just in time to host the holidays and start seeing some savings so we're looking forward to having my mom and sister come from Arkansas and and stay with us a while. So a total of 12 homes are being built. The majority of the lots have been sold, although there are a few that are still open. We're live in Orange County, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.